Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Free 2011 here, AK Manny Wolverine. You guys are wrestling Jojo's and outros over on this channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, beat you right now. Um, Odyssey, Rumble, any other social media platforms that you guys can think of. Anyways, um, just real quick, I know this is Google Stadia we're talking about, and I did say it like almost four or five months ago. Shoot, almost four and a half months, maybe at the most, if not five. I did say that I wasn't going to talk about the Google Stadia shit ever again because I thought it was actually passed on. I thought it was just a dead console after it was just dead in the water and it wasn't going to pick up ever again, but there's some little extra news that came out last week. It's like six, seven days ago, so it was a while ago, but <laughs> I heard about it on a few other um, gaming industry channels and shit like that. I thought it was funny as heck because first time, it says right here, Google adds a search bar to the Stadia web store, which they should have did that. The most mediocre, smallest feature, a lot of video game consoles, even it's from a billion dollar company like Google itself. You would have thought their whole thing is about searching freaking tools and searching a bunch of history, even though they're going to have to tend to censor a lot of that crap, which is extremely fucked up, to be honest. That's why I usually use either Brave or DuckDuckGo half of the time. I barely can use Google anymore like I used to back in the day. But anyways, here's some PS1, PS2 music in the background. Some Ridge Racer and a bunch of other places. Like it's going to be from Final Fantasy, Resident Evil, Ape Escape, Legends of Mana. I'm just reading the list here real quick. Oh, yeah, Final Fantasy. And maybe a bunch of other ones like Metal Gear Solid and Ridge Racer 4. I don't know. I might switch it to like the Disney music because... <laughs> Three days ago, I know this is really, really old. These are the only three that are super new about PlayStation getting an action lawsuit over them where it was exclusivity over digital sales. And then this one about Score Bunny's official plush. It's a real. I don't know why the other two didn't get any, like Grookey and um, Sobble. Even though, I'm not going to lie, the second and third evolution, I'm not going to lie, yeah, it actually grew on me a little bit. I actually like Rillaboom a little bit more than I did before. I see a shiny. looks kick-ass. So there's that. And the stuff about this man, um, this... Absolutely garbage, pathetic piece of yet that shit, motherfucker. Um, this guy, the one from two, three years ago, 2018, 2019, and Randy Pitchford. You know, granted, yeah, he might have been the original creator for Borderlands, which is a real kick ass fucking game, but all the allegations that were set in for being a you know what, <laughs> a, you know, a very, very bad, nasty person to usually men or maybe women, more than guys. It's kind of fucked up. But anyways, um, so it says, finally, there he goes, .com. Google's adding a search bar to the Stadia web store, like I said earlier. And yeah, finally, you'll be able to <laughs> Google things on Stadia. Google is a tech company well-known for its Google search engine, as just said. Announcing that as cloud stream services on Google is getting better with a search bar. In a community update today, the Stadia said that the search bar is on Stadia will be rolling out now. It should reach all players this weekend, which was last week, probably. And we'll be finding, oh yeah, and we'll make finding your favorite games much more easy. It's from our tweet. Good news, the search browser aren't rolling on the hashtag Google Stadia store. Get a sneak peek into the features coming into Stadia today, which was probably last week, Friday, Saturday. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's get into the next thing. <laughs> All right. So also goes on to say, um, da, 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 da. Stadia team has also showed that their new features is working on an activity feed such as the screenshot. And the above tweet also seems to hint that Assassin's Creed titles come into the server, which I thought they already were, but I'm surprised there's a five, ten people that even use fucking Stadia. They probably don't give a shit anymore. And they probably moved on. Maybe, I don't know. Which Stadia uses users will now be able to Google when they find oh yeah. When and if they hit the stores. <laughs> they probably won't ever. Anyways, yeah, um, about thoughts, views, and opinions, that's really much it. I really don't give a rat's butt about the system. That thing's, to me, still dead in the water. That's probably never going to come back. That are very fucked up, disastrous intro back in late 2019, though, September, October, when it was released. And, um, there's been issue after fucking issue after issue. Just problematic solution, not solution. Problematic issues after problematic, I don't know, big time fucking huge, um, <laughs> letdowns that they've done, unfortunately. So I don't think Google Stadia is ever going to come back, to, especially for the public. But to get on to the second bit of news, unfortunately, um, <laughs> man, this is some real messed up shit here, man. I didn't even think that they were in trouble with um, any of these other, what's it called, industries. Oh, yeah, PlayStation. I'm going to read it from my phone real quick, just in case this one doesn't work. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, so, yeah, the only places you can buy digital games is through PlayStation stores from Josh Coulson. It says Sony PlayStation faces class action a lawsuit over exclusivity 
on residual sales. Sony is facing a possibility class action lawsuit from customers over the exclusivity of digital games, which should only be purchased through the PlayStation Store. A new report from Bloomberg, which is this old, so I know it's a lot of mainstream media bullshit, but I'm still going to talk about it anyways, has detailed this proper class action lawsuit being filed against Sony. The, so <coughs> excuse me, the suit <coughs> brought along customers, accusing Sony of holding up Monopoly over digital game sales due to the change in terms of exclusivities back in 2019, almost two years ago, not that long ago. The changes meant that Digital copies of the PlayStation games could no longer be sold by their third-party vendors, making them exclusive to the PlayStation Store. With the new moves movement, retailers can no longer sell codes for digital copies of the games. Just the physical copies, digital DLC is an add-on that could still be sold outside of the PlayStation Store. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Obviously. Maybe soon, another two, three years from now, fucking digital games might not even be real anymore, which is fucking sad, to be honest, but... Somebody grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, man, it's a bitch. In the mid-late 2000s, too. So anyways, um, let's get into the other stuff. Oh, da 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 <clears throat> Yeah, the lawsuit, however, the lawsuit points out that Sony can effectively charge whatever it likes for digital games since it has no competition and apparently resulted in those games costing as much as 175 percent more. Wow. It also goes on to say, I'm not going to read the rest of the other one. You guys can read it on the bottom. Sony's Monopoly allows people to charge their supra competitive prices for digital games on the PlayStation Store, which are significantly higher for those physical counterparts. Unquote. The filing reads, PlayStation owners are often left scratching their heads in a physical game of the cost could cost a fraction of the price with digital equivalent. The self Lack and pose of comp competition, and here's why. And also goes on to say da, 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 da. Um, proposed lawsuit comes at a time where new video games is briefly forced and debated. The arrival of the PlayStation, Next Boss, and Next Gen console brought with its introduction of 70 plus dollar games, not only for everyone, not for everyone though. Some publishers have a stat abstained. Of Stanish? I don't know how to say that word. From the price of hiking continuing to sell in the games for $60 norm established the two generations of consoles ago, the price $70 tag of the new PlayStation exclusive Returnal is the last latest game defeating intro into debate. Yeah, I heard a lot of crazy, wild, super positive reviews on that game Returnal. I looked at a lot of the gameplay for it. And it looks real kick ass. It's kind of like Dark Souls meets a little bit of old school, like the medieval, but like. On a more serious note, that mixed with a lot of like um, Demon Souls a little bit. I don't know, it's just super kick ass looking. Yeah, so uh, overall thoughts, these and opinions, I don't know. Sony's probably going to win this case. They're a million, multi billion dollar company all over the world. And they just do, they do way more than just video games. They do freaking what's it called? <laughs> they do stuff for movies, they do stuff for TVs and stuff. They make a lot of freaking flat screen TVs and a lot of shitload of like, I think in, the, in Japan, instead of the United States, they have their own smartphone company too. So they'll be okay if anything bad happens to them. Anyways, um, let's get on to this other one here. <laughs> I thought this shit was really, really funny as heck, man. I'm only going to read like half of it because I don't have that much time to get into this. But you guys can read the tweets on your own if you want to. So I thought it was fucking hilarious as hell, man, honestly. The Snow White thing says, um, <laughs> I know I usually don't talk about stuff for um Disney and stuff. So it says, people don't think the woke left is trying to cancel Snow White. So there's that. I don't get into the politics side of it. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. Just read the first two paragraphs and that's it. This comes from uh, Internet Culture from Sibana Bale. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Sibana Bale. Hot on the heels of the white Republicans. Da, 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 crying about Disney being rude for tolerance and inclusivity. We have the right wing next out of the left and the right. I don't believe in none of that political bullshit. So this is the only one I could find for it. Apparently woke leftists is out to cancel Snow White because the prince kissed her. A sleeping dead body without consent. And that's complete super mega superiority bullshit right there. But I'm just going to um, play a little bit older OG Disney music. If any of you guys want to listen to that, that's cool. But anyways. um, Alright. So it also goes on to say that a body without consent. I don't know. It also goes on to say, yeah, I'm only going to read this part and other parts. You can read all the tweets if you want. I don't give a shit about those. The sources of hysterical Twitter storms on one paragraph from a single 
article on San Francisco News site, of course, is fucking San Francisco Cali. It's so garbage, fake political trash. Here. It's all illusion to me, people. It's all, but always will be, even though when I hit the grave, when I'm gone from this world. It's always going to be like that, but let's move on. To be clear, Disney is not taking any steps now. Any steps, da 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 da. It also goes on to say, da 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 da. Sorry, I'm just trying to read. Let's look at the music from my phone. In fact, this whole thing came about when the company just revamped the Snow White ride at the Disneyland theme park, California, and a pair of reviewers pointed out that the whole kissing unconscious strangers element of the story and made for them and a lot of other people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a fucking old 1938-39, like, super old ancient, like, animation cartoon. Why the fuck are people getting pissed about that? It's so retarded as hell, but let's move on. I'm sorry people get offended by the R word, too, but that's just how it is. It says, um, it's hard to understand why Disneyland 2021... I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Disneyland 2021... Da, 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 da. Oh, here it is. Would choose to add on a scene with such old-fashioned ideas a man is allowed to do to a woman, especially given the company's current emphasis on ruling polymeric scenes for the rides like the Jungle Cruise Splash Mountain, the reviewer said in the San Francisco Gate. These people just need to get the fuck into a freaking insane asylum. Man. Some of these people are way crazy as fuck mentally. They're screwed up in the head. They don't have no idea what the fuck they're talking about personally. So, um, I don't know if I'll ever read from this fucking website again. These people are just too bullshit in the politics. It's an old 1938-1939, one of those two years, of a Disney old, old, one of the very first, like, movies that they did. It was a way different time back in the day. This fucking in, it was just a fucking peck, man. These people are dumb shits, but yeah. The Randy Pitchford thing, you guys can read yourself, is going to take way too much time. I just wanted to talk about this funny, cute, little, adorable Score Bunny plush. You guys know I absolutely love the shit out of the Gen 8 ones for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which... The mainly the fire stars, Squirt Bunny, Rabu, and then uh, Cinderace, especially. I know some people think, oh, it's fur bait and shit. I don't give a fuck. I thought it was kick fucking ass. It reminds me a lot of how Naruto was. And I know a lot of people made Naruto means of Cinderace looks like Naruto, but it was kick ass. I used to love Naruto too. And like I said, Rillaboom and then the other two, like Rookie and Rillaboom, they kind of grew, grew out on me. I like those. They look pretty kick ass. Squirt Bunny, Build a Bear, Workshop Plus Review. It's from some um, gaming ideology. I only read from them once. This is um, Build-A-Bear Workshop Score Bunny will be released on May 6th, which, wow, today. <laughs> will be added to the Pokemon Cuddly Toys. And the company is set to email the Inside Stuff Bonus Club members, revealing that the exclusive online bundle, however, the plush toy will be available both online and its own stores. Score Bunny will be the first Pokemon Sword and Shield so start started to appear in Build-A-Bear Workshop. I thought the other two, Sabo and those Grookey, would have been in there by now. I'm surprised. So previously, the company focused on the first generation startups such as Bubbles of Charmander and Squirtle, obviously. Prices for the single stuffed animal and bundles were not available, however, in the announcement. However, some good news here. It showed up that the online bundles <clears throat> will include. Oh, right, yeah, will be included, I guess. People are given a Score Bunny fire themed pajamas <laughs> to Don. I didn't know that. And a fiery cape with fur on the brims. There will also be a 5-in-1 sound chip featuring character screams from the game. <laughs> That's cool. And there's also a second Build-A-Bear Pokemon hug for 2021, for this year. First was Mew, was published in February 2021. I didn't know that. Considering the current prices for the company's bundles in this line, Square Bunny will likely be costing 55 and 61 US dollars. Wow. Pikachu bundles only 46 50 but also includes... The other one, okay, not bad. So yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions on that. I really, really hope it's good. So since the Builder Bear, oh, still more for this. Builder Bear Score Bunny Plush will release May 6, 2021. Good care for all the game news here. Yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. It looks really, really nice. Extremely, highly well done. Oh yeah, it did have a little cap on it. <laughs> it's like a superhero cape hat. Oh, I wanted this motherfucker big time. It's kick ass. And I probably just, oh, I'm just getting it for my um, future nephew or future daughter, which I know they're actually starting to like Pokemon a lot more now, which is great. Because I do actually have a four year old nephew. And he's starting to like it a lot. But, anyways, that's all I got to say for now. My links are description box down below. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, fangirls, talks, and emojis. I'll see you when I see you guys today. Have a good night, wherever you are. Universe out there. Stay tuned for your channel. We'll be video game ministry news, AMO news, internet news, Twitch issue drama news, reaction videos. And that's it. Peace out, my Starcraft. Ladies and goodbye. See you awesome people. Flip